Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Today's lesson is about finding the area of triangles, parallelogram, kites, and trapeziums. Firstly, we are going to discuss the area of triangles. Okay, this is uh, the first triangle where you have a right angle triangle. This is the base, the length of the base, and this is the height. Same goes here. This is the height, and this is the base, and this is uh, the third triangle where this is your base and this is your height. In order to find the area of triangle, so you have to find, okay, the area of triangle will be given as area equals to 1 over 2 and then times the base, the length of the base obviously, and then times the height. So if you want to find the area of triangles, very easy. You take 1 over 2, you times the length of the base and you times the length of the height. You might want to pause the video to copy the notes. Second is to find the area of parallelogram. This is your base and this is your height. To find the area of parallelogram, you simply take your base and then you times the height. So again, for our parallelogram, where you have two parallel sides uh, above and below, and then the sides also, they are parallel lines. So to find the area of this parallelogram, you simply take the base and then you times the height. Third will be the area of kites. This is a kite where from this point going to this point, there is a diagonal. And then from this point going to another, this point, we have another diagonal. In order to find the area of the kite, we write area equals to 1 over 2 times the product of the diagonals meaning to say if I label from this vertice going to this vertice as A so the length from here until here will be A and then from this point from this vertice going to this vertice the length will be B so to find the area is simply 1 over 2 and then times a b so a times b so you got to multiply uh, the length of the word diagonal so a times b and then divide by 2 so this is the area of kites lastly is to find the area of trapezium this is the shape of your trapezium where you have two sides parallel and this is the height first thing i'm gonna label my two parallel sides Let's say from here to here, I label A, so this is the length of A. So from here to A, uh, from this point to this point, I label the length of it will be B. And then this is the height, which is represented by H. To find the area, is very easy. So the formula is given by 1 over 2 times the sum of the parallel lines. And then you times the height. If you substitute it into your formula, so you'll have 1 over 2 times, okay, sum mean addition. So you have to add these two parallel lines, so A plus B. So you get A plus B here because the sum of parallel lines. And then times the height, which is H. So, so this is a formula to find the area of trapezium. So you take 1 over 2, you times the sum, you have to got, you have to plus these two, first a plus b, and then you times the height. This is an example. You are given p, q, r, s as a big rectangle, and then you have p, a, b as a triangle. And then look at this, you have t, v, r, w, which is the shape of, uh, yes, a trapezium. You have to find the area of the shadow region. First thing first, you have to find the whole area, which is the PQRS. PQRS. So if you write area of PQRS will be... Because it's simply the shape of a rectangle. So you have to times the base times the height. So look at the base. This is 4cm and 12cm. So the base will be 16 because 4 plus 12 will be 16. And then times... The height will be 5 plus 5 will be 10. So if you multiply these two, I shouldn't have right bracket, but it's okay. So 16 times 10 gives you 160. So the unit will be cm square because it's area. Okay, now you have to find the area of the triangle. 
I'm gonna use triangle symbol, triangle PAB. So if you recap, what is the formula for triangle area, the area of the triangle? So it's simply 1 over 2 times the base and then times the height. So you would have half times 4 and then times 5. Which gives you 2 times 5, 10 cm square. And okay, now you have to find the area of this trapezium. So the trapezium will be TV. RW So the way to write TVRW If you recall the formula just now I explained in the video So we have the area of Area of trapezium will be 1 over 2 times the sum of the parallel sides If you sum these parallel sides you have 3 plus 4 And then you have to times the height which is 5 So this will give you 7 times 5, 35 divided by 2, which is 12 point. So 3 plus 4, 7. 7 times 5 divided by 2 will be 17.5. So that means the area of shaded region, you write area of shaded region will be. Equals to, you take. The big area, which is PKRS, 160 minus 10. So this 10 come from here, the triangle. So minus 10 cm square. I forgot to write cm square here. And then minus this trapezium area, which is 17.5 cm square. So the final answer will be 160 minus 10 minus 17.5 which gives you 132.5 cm square so this is the final answer so can you copy all the notes in your book i'm going to give you exercise below in the description don't forget to uh, comment this video and like and share thank you i see you in the class bye